Hello, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today I want to do a little bit of a, a comparison between some of the harmonica microphones that I've got uh, so you can hear the difference between them and uh, just get an idea of, of what you're getting when you, you buy one of these microphones. So I'm going to show you uh, what a Shaker Retro Rocket sounds like, what a Blows Me Away Ultimate 57 sounds like, a Blows Me Away Bulletini, and what a Silverfish Bullet sounds like. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to play uh, through my Zvex Nano Head uh, half watt valve amplifier, so it means that I can really crank it and, and get a nice cooking tone. Um, and I'm going to use a B-flat Suzuki Olive all the way through so that you hear exactly the same harmonica. Uh, and I'm going to play roughly the same uh, tune with each of the microphones so you can get an idea of the differences between them. So let's start by listening to the Shaker Retro Rocket. Okay, so the, the Shaker Retro Rocket is uh, one of my favorite microphones to recommend to a beginner uh, because it's really, really easy to use. It's so small uh, and not too heavy that you can get a relatively decent cup without much experience and you get a nice thick tone with it. And it has that old school vintage blues harmonica sound. Um, it's not the loudest of the microphones that we have here, it's not the hottest output, uh, but it's a very satisfying tone, very rich and warm, um, and yeah, really easy to use. So that the, the, the Retro Rocket is a great choice uh, to, to try out. Um, let's, let's have a listen to what uh, the Blows Me Away Ultimate 57 sounds like. Okay, so the Ultimate 57 uh, is, is the, the microphone that I've been using uh, the longest and it's one of my ultimate uh, sounds on the harmonica. Uh, <clears throat> so this is basically uh, an SM57, which is a really common industry standard instrument microphone. You find them at, at every concert venue uh, and it's been chopped up and a volume control has been added uh, by Greg Human at uh, Blows Me Away and it means that it's lighter and easier to hold and you get that amazing kind of Paul Butterfield, Jason Ritchie, uh, that, that kind of big tone and, um, and, I, and I love it for that. But it is a little bit harder to hold than something like the, the Retro Rocket or later on I'll show you the Bulletini and the, the uh, Silverfish Bullets. So I'd say the difficult, difficulty rating is higher um, the tone is great though and it's got a really really high output and you can also get uh, a nice cl clean sort of acoustic sound if you're not doing a really really heavy cup. So that's, that's a, a big big plus for the Ultimate 57 but I wouldn't recommend the Ultimate 57 to a complete beginner on the instrument. It's not going to uh, be easy to start with but it's definitely worth wrestling with to get that awesome tone. Okay let's uh, compare that to the Silverfish uh, bullet microphone. <laughs>
Okay, so you heard what the, the silverfish sounds like and it sounds awesome. So because it has a, a slightly different impedance setting to the other microphones, it means that I had to crank the amplifier up, but that's not a big issue. That's very common. Uh, and you can hear that this microphone sounds, sounds great. It's, uh, it's another one that I would recommend to beginners because it gives you a very good tone out of the box. Uh, it's got a lot of clarity. Um, it doesn't have that, that very uh, midi uh, kind of muddy sound that some of the other microphones might have. And a lot of people really like that. Um, so it's, it's definitely one to, to try out. Plus, um, it's the, the most reasonably priced of all the microphones here. Um, so if you're dipping your toes into amplified playing, then uh, the Silverfish Bullet is, is a great place to start. Um, let's, let's compare it to uh, my, uh, my ultimate microphone, the one that I use the most now, which is the Blows Me Away Bulletini. <laughs> Okay, so Bulletini. Now, Bulletini, I, I've saved my favorite to, to, the, to last. So all of these microphones are microphones that I would recommend, but the Bulletini does everything that I want it to do. So it's, it's a nice small uh, microphone with the kind of bullet shape, which means that it's really, really easy to hold, really easy to cup and get a big cupped sound. Um, volume control is a very helpful addition. Everything about the, the mic is great and it, it's very high output, so it's very loud um, and that means that you can really push an amplifier very hard so that you get that good uh, overdrive sound that if you like Chicago blues is essential. If you don't want to get that overdriven sound, then you can roll the volume back, but if, if you really, really don't want to get that overdriven sound, then this probably isn't the right microphone for you. But if you want a really classic Chicago blues sound, then Bulletini uh, is my personal favorite. It's the one that I find easiest to use and just, it doesn't get in the way. Um, so yeah, all of these microphones are really, really great microphones. They're all slightly different price points and they have slightly different applications. Um, but I, I would recommend all of them. Um, if you want to find out more about them, just click on the links in the description below to the various manufacturer pages. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my demo. This isn't, it isn't the most scientific of, uh, of demos. I just wanted to show you the microphones that I have in my collection and uh, explain to you which ones I, I really like and, and why. Uh, so I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, yeah, join me next time for some more harmonica fun stuff. Take care.